Welcome to Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Today, we're drinking lemon pepper tang. Hey everybody, and welcome to an episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Today, we're drinking lemon pepper tang. Well, actually, we're drinking two things. We're drinking lemon pepper tang, and we're drinking lemonade with black pepper. So originally, lemon pepper tang is sort of the inspiration of putting black pepper in lemonade. Uh, certain Asian countries, I believe maybe India and Pakistan, they, um, they do this. This is a common thing to put black pepper in their lemonade. Uh, so I guess tang, because it's very popular actually there, decided, oh, what we're going to do is we're going we're to take that, that idea and make it our own. So they made a lemon pepper tang. So we're going to see which one's better. I'm going to start with the regular lemonade, and I'm just going to give these guys a quick stir just to deal with anything that might be settled at the bottom. We'll start with the lemonade. So this is a basic lemonade. It's uh, half a cup of lemon juice, half a cup of sugar, and three cups of water. And this is a uh, black pepper. I don't really know how much you're supposed to put in this. I've had this drink before, um, but I've never actually made it myself. So I just sort of put a bunch of black pepper in there. Give it a really good stir. I want it to sort of go all over and so I can kind of taste it all over. I was going to use freshly ground pepper, but that didn't make any sense because then it would just be sort of chunks that would sort of sink to the bottom. I'm just going to wait like a couple of minutes, let it sort of incorporate. So we'll just speed that up for you, okay? Okay, I'm convinced this is mixed up pretty well. There's definitely little black chunks floating everywhere. They're sort of settling on the bottom a little bit, but... <coughs> okay, so what you have here, this is lemonade, and it tastes like lemonade, so you get that sort of shot of lemon. It's nice and sweet too, so it's, you know, it's got a lot of sugar in it. But then all of a sudden there's just chunks of pepper and they get stuck in your throat and they make you... Uh, to me, they kind of ruin it. I guess if you like this kind of thing, you'd be good with it, but I don't really understand it. To me, it's kind of like ruining lemonade. Like, why would you put pepper in it? The pepper taste comes more at the end than at the beginning, but it's definitely there. It's not great. I don't know if I would like recommend people do this. I mean, you could try it. Don't do a whole container, just try a glass. And I think the longer you let the pepper set, sit in there too, the probably stronger it'll be. So maybe after when I finish doing the lemon pepper tang, I'll go back to the pepper lemonade and see if it's gotten any stronger, so. Now let's try the lemon pepper tang. I'm gonna give it a quick stir as well because tang is notorious for settling at the bottom. So there's no actual black chunks in this at all. So that's kind of both disappointing and, and makes me happy. So let's see how this is. Well, it's weird. It has the same kind of principle as the lemonade with pepper in that it tastes like sort of like lemon drink. I'm not going to say it tastes like lemonade, but it tastes like a lemon drink. And then all of a sudden there's this like weird aftertaste, but it's not peppery. It's kind of soapy and weird. It kind of eliminates the lemon flavor for no particular reason. So I don't quite understand. It definitely isn't peppery. It's like lemon soap tang. It's not great didn't make me cough, which you would expect from the pepper though, at least. So I'm going to, I'm going to give the, I'm going to give the pepper one more try. Now that it's actually been sitting for a little bit longer. It's weird. I'm kind of, I mean, I can't say, I won't ever say that I like it or that I understand it, but it gets better. It doesn't shock you as much and it leaves your mouth a little burny afterwards, which is weird for a drink. One more sip of the tang. That's just, it's just like a sweet lemon drink that just then sort of gets this weird sort of soapy, 
almost blunt flavor to it. Ugh. Neither one of these is fantastic, but I would actually go for the real thing because at least you're getting some sort of an experience. You're getting a visceral experience. You're getting a bit of heat, maybe a bit of pepperiness. This, you're just sort of getting flat, oversweetened, and then soapy drink. Ugh. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Next time, we'll do something else. Who knows? It'll be whatever we manage to find in our grand travels. Thanks for watching. Bye. As always, you can follow us on Twitter at Candy Critic. You can go to www.candycritic.org and find links to all our other social media, including Facebook and Tumblr. If you want to find old episodes of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? or episodes of our podcast, Junk Food, go to www.candycritic.org slash junkfood. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube feed, leave a comment, or give us a thumbs up or thumbs down below on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.